session i'm going to tell you about sphere to cylinder retinoscopy as uh, thank you so much for viewing my previous videos on sphere to sphere retinoscopy as in today's session i must say those who has not visited to that sphere to sphere retinoscopy video link please 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 visit that link first because in today's session it is very important to understand the starting steps of retinoscopy which i have told in that video only in because i'm going to start with the third step uh, of retinoscopy in today's session as the sphere to cylinder uh, retinoscopy method is the direct method of neutralizing first the spherical uh, spherical power and then the cylindrical power so please visit that video first and then see this video to understand about what is sphere to cylindrical method of retinoscopy please 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 visit that video first because you can't understand if you don't visit at that uh, site or at that link which i have discussed or write in my description column please take it seriously and please go to that uh, video first and then visit this video to understand about sphere to cylinder retinoscopy now have a look uh, as i have told you earlier about retinoscopy that is objective method the goals of retinoscopy and the sphere to sphere method of first and second step are the same for sphere to cylinder also and the third step is also same but the third first part is same and the second part is little bit different from the sphere to sphere retinoscopy method so in first step we have adjusted the streak of retinoscopy at 67 cm from patient's eye and in the step second there is a uh, starting from 90 degree streak we will consider the movement of streak like if it is with or against but in sphere to cylinder we will consider whatever you want to uh, want to consider the uh, axis because we are neutralizing the spherical power as whole pupil reflex okay and in the third step we will go for the uh, Uh, diagnosis of the movement which is with movement if it is if it is with movement then we will try to neutralize it with the plus power lens and if it is against we will try to neutralize the reflex with minus lens at third second part for sphere to cylinder method of retinoscopy we have neutralized the spherical power of lens by neutralizing the whole pupil reflex as after neutralize uh, as we see the pupillary reflex and we will uh, neutralize that pupillary reflex with a spherical power we will do the whole uh, neutralization of pupillary reflex in sphere to cylinder retinoscopy i will give you the example uh, after uh, this uh, thing but first we have to understand about this first we have to neutralize the spherical uh, the pupillary reflex with the spherical power lens and then if the cylindrical power is present pay attention if the cylindrical power is present we will see a tilted reflex on pupil after neutralizing the spherical power may i may repeat this uh, again now if the cylindrical power is present we will see a tilted reflex on the pupil after neutralizing the spherical power it means see here there is a tilted reflex we have neutralized whole spherical uh, whole pupillary reflex with the spherical power lens now we will see uh, we will see uh, the tilted reflex if the cylindrical power is present there if it is not we won't see any tilted reflex hence the patient is having only spherical power in his eyes or her eyes okay now so you may see the diagram like this of tilted section on pupil it's a reflex tilted reflex on pupil so we have to make our streak of retinoscope to be placed along with that tilted portion means we have to place our streak along with that tilted portion to neutralize that tilted reflex with the cylindrical power lens now first we have neutralized the whole spherical power with the spherical power lens now we will neutralize the cylindrical power this tilted reflex means the patient is having the cylindrical power so to neutralize the cylindrical power lens we will use the cylindrical power lens okay now see for the with or against movement we have to see if the streak uh, if the tilted reflex is having the with with the uh, movement or the against movement along with the streak if it is with we will use the plus lens of cylindrical power to neutralize the pupil reflex 
and if it is against we will use the minus lens for neutralizing the cylindrical power of lens the minus is also the cylindrical power from trial set okay this is the cylindrical lens we are using to neutralize the with or against movement for the tilted reflex neutralization okay now cross like we have now i may uh, take an example that i have neutralized my whole pupil reflex my patient's whole pupil reflex with 3 plus 3 power of spherical lens so i have considered that plus 3 as a spherical power now the cylindrical power i have taken the tilted reflex is being neutralized by minus 1 dioptric cylindrical power with the axis 175 degree 25 degree means that the tilted reflex is placed at 175 degree maybe we have taken an example it may be on 180 degree it may be on 35 degree it may be on 40 degree but we will take the axis of that tilted reflex which uh, which is placed at what degree we will write that degree here as an axis so, uh, you can see this degree by using trial frame also so you may detect the axis along the reflex it means the axis is being detected with that tilted reflex only then the prescriptions comes out to be like this plus 3 as an spherical power and minus 1 as a cylindrical power with axis 175 degree Sub subtracting the working distance 67 cm which i have taken you may take the uh, 50 cm also from sphere only but if you take the 50 cm you may minus uh, the plus 2 uh, plus 2 from that spherical power so here i have taken the 67 cm then i have uh, taken that spherical power plus 3 i am uh, the working distance should be minus only from the spherical power so plus 3 minus plus 1.5 uh, 1.50 this minus is from algebraic sum because i have taken plus 1.50 in a bracket and uh, i have taken both uh, the difference of both so the answer is plus 1.50 dioptric spherical power from the difference of spherical power and the working distance so the prescription or the power becomes plus 1.50 with minus one cylindrical lens into 175 degree it means the plus 1.50 is a spherical power and minus 1 into 175 degree cylindrical power is there in the patient so i hope you all understand about cylindrical sphere to cylindrical retinoscopy method please uh, if you don't understand please visit my uh, first video because it is very necessary to understand the starting steps of retinoscopy method and uh, i have tried my best so please like it share it and subscribe it if you like the video and you want me to make more and more videos for your uh, for yourself and your for your benefit thank you so much have a good please like it share it and subscribe it